So, normally when I do these kind of videos, they're pre-planned, they're me digging to find uh, very specific topics uh, to talk about so I can confront these topics with a better mindset. Not particularly scripted, it's still um, kind of like this, it's still whatever comes to my mind, whatever I think by, you know, by default. I don't have anything scripted for these ever. But, like a couple of times in the past, this particular video is unique to me. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. So, recently, without naming names, I spoke... I've been speaking with people and two of them have been going through ver a very specific type of rough time where it's difficult to press through in life, not not in like a suicidal way or anything, that's not what I'm referring to, just in general, um, and have considered giving up on that particular aspect of their life. And just in saying that, there, as I said, there are two people. You guys, just by hearing that, if you see this video and hear that, you know I'm talking about you. And if you guys see this video, and I'm not talking about you, but you can relate anyway, I really do think it, that... I hope, not not do think, but I hope the words that I'm going to say, at least going to try to get out, will help you guys push through any kind of rough, difficult times, because I'm going to go through a couple different things. I uh, might make this video a bit longer than normal, but I do, th I don't know, deep down, I really feel like this needs to be said. Not just for the two people that I who remain, again, nameless, but I am reaching out to, but for anybody else who might need this kind of push as well. Now, I'm not going to go into detail, again, because I'm trying to be discreet about who these people are. I'm not going to go into detail what their particular trials that they're dealing with that are causing a lot of extreme stress on their minds are that is their business uh between it's it's just because it's more of a <sighs> confidential kind of thing when it comes to this kind of stuff because it has a lot of strain on the brain on the mind it becomes medically confidential to talk about which is another reason why i'm not not just out of respect, but it's also another reason why I'm not claiming the people I'm talking about, the events I'm talking about, because this is their business and only they, only they should be allowed to talk about this kind of thing up front, if they so desire. Otherwise, at least where I'm from, it is illegal to actually talk about this stuff without that kind of consent. At least in the medical field, which is something that I've been studying for over 20 years at this point, <laughs> whether by default or not. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into what I'm, what like kind of some things I can relate to that hopefully will help you guys. And I'm gonna go off of different fronts, not just again, not just the two that we were talk that I'm referring to, but other different types of fronts as well. Give off my relatability. Um, how I go about it that helped me, that hopefully can help you guys if you're going through this kind of fun. When I'm going to start this one, since it's the most relatable to me, is financial struggles. And to me, I, this, this one hits home the most because I have, I constantly sometimes, because of my circumstances, mental living, just general, my financial circumstance is like a roller coaster. 
It has ups, great points, but it'll always, like, well, it has, yeah, it has great points where you're, like, feeling a lot of, um, you're feeling a rush, an exciting rush, where you're, like, just shooting down. Now, this is just in comparison to those who, like, enjoy roller coasters, like I do. I love the feeling that you get when you, like, go shot downward and it just zooms through you. Like, I love that feeling. That's why I'm using this as an example. If you do not like roller coasters, you don't have to consider this, but I love them, and that's why. I love the rush. So, it's something else. Maybe you could, like, use a car as an example, but when things get faster and you can feel that rush of... You can feel your blood pumping in a good sense. I, I, I just think... Those points are, like, the best points when it comes to this kind of stuff. But that's just when it's, like, it's up, at its ups. Like everything else, it always ha it also has its downs. And for me, these are consistent. And strangely enough, well, not really strangely, but that's how I'm going to put it. It's not strange to me, but I'll talk about that later in the future when I'm talking about this particular thing. But... It always has had a pattern for me, like most trials do, actually, where I would be at a very good point, taking care of myself beautifully, don't need any kind of financial help, which I have reached out for a lot. Even at my age, I still need that sometimes, um, even for like the simplest things, but... I always hit those spikes, like, I, I, the spikes of things that'll cause me disappointment in myself, strain, stress, um, disbelief that I can do certain things. I have gotten depressed before over financial situations, and those who have met me have talked to me, I've been open about this, and I have said what had gone on during these points. Maybe you, if you guys want to hear these kind of examples again, I'll have to do it in a different video, but let me know in the comments below. And I, I'm open enough to where I'd probably be willing to talk about it. Because, again, I'm human. I love sharing my... Th this is why this channel was built in the first place, to share and reveal events of my past to benefit me for the future, to benefit other people. Like, stuff like that. But again... Financial need is always a kind of a struggle. Many people can agree on this. Now, there are some in the world who are just like, eh, we don't struggle at all. But those people are usually blessed, especially with what's going on right now, with, like, the best jo supporting jobs. Now, I don't envy those kind of people. I actually, I feel really happy for them so long as they're not, like, putting others down, which I have had happen to me, and I know some people who go through that exact same stress, not, again, it's not particularly financially, at least for some people it might be, but I, the only reason that I've been able to push through with this kind of stuff is because I've had at least one or two people in my real life who have been willing to reach out to physically hang out with me when it comes to peers, to talk with me under these fronts, to kind of ease my mind. And in the long haul, that kind of thing helps so much. Now that's just one example, one that I can relate to the most. Another thing that I think comes up a lot when it comes to trials are careers and or jobs, you know, depending on what you have. Me, I would get, everyone who has seen my channel or has seen me on uh, my co or has seen me co-host or heard me co-host, depending on the uh, stream with D9, knows that I work at McDonald's. One of the most industries that get the most crap. And by that, I mean fast food in general. Fast food employees and retail employees, they get the most crap 
out of customers, out of anyone else. And this is mainly because people like, always seem to reach out for someone to hate. And usually that's the ones that are most accessible, which are retail, customer service, and fast food. And the thing, the, it's mainly the customer service part. People who deal with cu do customer service get the most hate off of people because they get the most complaints. They'll get the most what um, a lot of people say, which are like Karens, or as my uh, girlfriend likes to say, in the sense of males, Kevins. And if you see this, you know I'm referring to that. And it's more of an inside joke between her and her coworkers that was stopped at a point. But I like the idea because it's kind of like like how you identify certain things. Like a good example of this, of what I'm referring to in that sense, and this is not to offend anybody, it's just one that I've heard frequently, would be Molly Mormon or its male um, equivalent, Peter Priesthood. I've, I, I just think like it, it, it's better to identify. I don't like doing it often, but when it comes to people like that, yeah, I'll do it. Because they over-exaggerate things. And I've dealt with this. With people who confront... Not, not just Kevins or Karens. Just people who confront you and hate on you for doing your job. And or career. And it is horrible. It's something I disrespect out of people. Not everyone does this, which... Thank heavens, otherwise... <sighs> yeah, I would not be the person I am if, it was, if that was the case. But I've kind of learned over time that because of aspects like this, you need to, like the financial thing, reach out to those close. In my case, D9 is actually one of those people. Along with, a, a, again, my girlfriend, my parents, family in general. Um, even some of my coworkers who I get along really, really well with, I'll talk on the clock with them and go, like, you know, to ease the mind. To, we'll make, like, f jokes. Make, yeah, the fast food industry gets treated like crap, but one blessed thing about being in an industry like that and this is the case with a lot of other jobs that I can list out too. Again, I won't because that will actually reveal um, certain aspects, knowing my mind, that I don't want to reveal in this video for confidentiality reasons. Either way, at my job, we make jokes. We goof off. And it, to an, it is still a very professional extent, but we still do that. We still do that. And... It brings a very light aura and a very positive mental attitude to the scenery. Consistently, there it really depends on who's on the clock at the time, and sometimes it wouldn't work out, which I completely get. I understand entirely. But when you have those kind of people to talk to, to derp around with, so to speak, it's such a humbling feeling to be able to just reach out to the IRL person, talk things over, say, look, I've been struggling with this aspect of my work. Can we talk for a bit? Can we hang out? Can we just meet up? Even if it's just like, you know, business-wise, like for a breakfast or a drink, like a cup of coffee for those who actually do that. You get my point. But that aspect is something that I really humble about a job is like you always have this group of people who can, who can reach out to and several many many people including myself at times tend to overlook this aspect and will start hating on themselves again this is like me I've done this and hurting sometimes even themselves and I can actually let's see if I can show it on camera this little increase here 
that is testament that I have done that. I have been there. Now, don't worry about By the way, don't for anybody who just goes like, <gasps> or something like that, don't worry about it. It was kind of a crease that was already there. I just worsened it to an extent that I knew was still safe for me. Like, literally, I caused a migraine. That's it. But I also caused a permanent scar. And that just shows testament to the kind of things that I'm referring to. And reaching out to IRL people, like the financial thing, is very, very, very recommended. I think it's something people overlook. Something others don't think about in the moment, which I get. Again, I think it has a lot to do with the mindset, where the mindset is. And it does core on anxiety or depression, depressing thoughts. Because when you get that point, a lot of the time, you know, if you actually deal with this kind of thing, like me, like I'm not labeled as someone who gets depression, but... In a sense, I know I get it to the extent that a lot of people do, which is probably good for me. It's wasn't good in the moment, but I may, it allows me to be able to relate to other people who do get it consistently. And those people where I live, there are almost everyone gets that kind of thing. I, if they don't get depression, they get like what's called GAD, which is kind of just a greater version of anxiety. Um. But, and it's sad to see. It breaks my heart to see something like that. But that's where I feel like, again, reaching out to IRL people, hanging out with IRL people, meeting up just for like a drink or a breakfast or a lunch. Or, you know, those kind of things start to matter. And it'll remove doubt. It'll remove any kind of negative mindset. I know because I've helped enough people to be able to confirm this. Hell, earlier on before making this video I was helping, like quite a ways before, but before making this video, that's exactly what I was doing for someone. And to get the response of you being there for me has changed my mindset, has made me look at things a different way <laughs> that is such a humbling feeling to me and it's some the reason I make some of these videos like this one today I won't get too deep into that because there is still one more aspect I want to use that as an example but that aspect is life in general and I thought saying that would tie into it pretty well and it does because there are so many aspects out there where people try to push forward in their lives but there's some things they miss, which when they do, it causes a problem. And when they miss these kind of things, and the problem is presented because of those aspects being missed, confusion happens. And again, depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff, especially where I live. It becomes a big issue, and sometimes people will shut themselves in, disregarding what's going on right now. Like, I'm not including that. Because for the people who I'm reaching out to directly, they don't have to deal with that because they're lucky enough to be in the better side of it. But there are still some who aren't. Even with that aspect, though, mask, gloves, not that hard. Because I didn't eat heck. Every single day in this bag, I take this bag almost everywhere when I leave. Because it has two masks. Now, I'll talk about this later. Because this is not the main point of this video. But, my, just a front point of all this is that even under personal extenses like that, reach out. Reach out to someone you're close to. Reach out to someone you care about. If, if this kind of thing were to happen. And hang out with someone. Hang out with someone. If someone reaches out to you and you're going through this, don't decline it. Because things will just get worse if you're on your own. Not 
many people consider that. And this is for like financial, living, uh, job, uh, hobbies, other people putting strain on you. It's just overall, it all ends up being the same. There are always that group of people who always want to reach out and say, hey, why don't we meet up? Why don't I like, as I said earlier, take you for a drink or something like that. Declining this and being on your own would only make things worse. I've kind of come to realize this and like, because I have been that way where I'd be declining everything and well, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I almost hurt myself to an extent that is very painful, not just to me, but to many other people. I wouldn't bring up this word anyway, just because it's, sen it's sensitive, way too sensitive a word to use, but based off that description, you guys could probably already figure out what I mean by that. And I'm not, I don't want to talk about that right now. It can be saved for another video. But it's a good example of what would happen to someone's mind who gets really bad depression and doesn't allow others to reach out to them. And I was that way. It was horrible. And I just, the reason I bring that up is because I don't want this that outcome to happen to those of you out there who come across this video and go I can I can relate to that or I am dealing with that kind of pain I just I want you guys if you're watching this still and you can relate to any of that again I can't emphasize this enough reach out to someone IRL who you feel is like very very close to you whether a best friend someone who you have feelings for even if you hide it because most people do that is just human reach out. I implore that. I can't emphasize that enough. IRL people can help more than anything else. That being said, if you guys want me to share any of the, ex like more extensively, the experiences that I've gone through that can kind of give an idea of what I'm referring to on these, because I was kind of vague on some of it. Uh, if you want to hear anything on my end, I'm an open person, so just let me know if you want to hear any kind of personal lifetime stories, because that was actually one of the original points of this channel, like to create a vlog rather than a journal. I actually, <laughs> where did I put the book? So I have a journal that I've owned for seven plus years. Five pages are filled. That's how bad I am at writing this stuff out. That's another reason why this channel exists in the first place. Now, if you guys want that, what I could probably start doing after I finish with one of my playthroughs game-wise is that I could potentially just upload one game in one of these. Talking about if it's not like a, you know, discussions and rants video like this, then I can talk about my own personal experiences. Just what's gone on in my life, what I've been through, just to kind of show... Like, something to relate to. Like, the games are just for comedy's sake. They're for humor. Like, I don't just play the game. I try to make jokes or things that don't make much sense to make others laugh. That's kind of the point of that part of it. At least, I think so. And sometimes I've heard that it relaxes people, which... You know what? I'm okay with that. It gives off a good vibe. And that's why I do it. And that's why I do these two, to try to give off a helping good vibe. Uh, keep going. It's going to be all right. Kind of vibe. I try to avoid rants because of that. Sometimes I'll still rant. Like the first video on this playlist. Don't check that out, though, if you get the wrong idea. Like, the video is called... Um, well, it, it had the hashtag, Stop David's Mother... Don't get the wrong idea on that if you haven't seen it. It's not my mom. It's another David. It was something that was going on at the time that was annoying me about a different David's mother towards another YouTuber who I consistently watch. Either way, 
this is going off on a tangent off topic, but you guys get the point. If you guys want to see something like that, let me know in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for any kind of discussion and rant that you'd like me to talk about, let me know down there too. It's more discussions than rants, but I would prefer that over the other. If you do want to check out any other ones that I've done prior to this, I actually have a playlist of that right here. Uh, random uh, gaming series that I'm doing again. I hope you guys can check it out because it's for humor's sake. It's not for the game. I'll have one of those over here. Um, however, for right now, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for listening, but I'll check. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye now.